Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another breakdown. How are you today? We are looking at a commercial. Very nicely done. Lots of polish. I hadn't seen this one, but it is a good looking ad. And we're going to talk about what makes it good looking. You're going to guess right now, I bet it's the framework. And yes, you're going to be correct. It's just this kind of stuff that I like. I'm still waiting for people to send me stuff that is not the framework. Please, the challenge is still out there. Put it in the link below. Send me the commercial that you have seen that does not follow this or does not have the aspects that we talk about. Uh, and I will, I will uh, put it on here and I'll say I was wrong and you were right. Okay, so the ad, uh, it's this guy, he is a judge and the whole ad is him uh, going around being judged, right? So it's pretty nice. We'll just play through the whole thing here. Uh, he wakes up, there he is out on the streets, living the dream. Hello, how are you? I see some reflections in that car there. And that lady's face has been seriously lifted. And get in the elevator. No, you don't. This is the worst, man. You see this guy back here? I'm going to remember your face, dude. Not going to forget that. And what do you got? Waffles here? There's a fire. There's a fire in the diner. Too much haze. Soft hob. Soft hob done sort of half heartedly there. That's like a half soft hob method. Pool, tricky location. The sun is somehow in the pool. How did that happen? Then we're in a store. It's got some depth, some nice lighting. Don't you do it, dude. Don't even say hello. That's full soft hob right there. Well done. And we're back out. Then we're in the diner, framework. 18K in the shot. And now we enter the courtroom. And the courtroom we'll talk about. So that's about it. Okay, there we go. Ta -da. Uh, did someone say framework, right? Should we start here? Courtrooms, awesome. Courtrooms are always fun because if, you ever, if you've ever been in a court, Right. First of all, shame on you for getting arrested. You shouldn't have done that. Whatever you did, you shouldn't have done. But did, did they look like this? Because in my court appearances, it has never looked like this. It has looked like uh, the most boring shed that is all white, cream, beige walls and just such a depressing place. It never looks like this, right? This is like movie courtroom. But movie courtroom is great because that wood sucks up all of the light. And it, uh, it really allows you to, to shape things. And this is a good looking shot, right? Staring right at the camera, eye light from the window, big long shot that ends in this little push in. We got light coming this way. We got neg coming that way. And we can't actually neg there because this is the only part of the room that you don't see. So you could have had like an eight by eight on standby, or as soon as you come in the door on the steady cam, you could have the grips just shuffle in. Come on, grips in there now. Actually, I don't do that anymore, right? There's no shouting out. It's more like over the two way. Uh, guys, uh, guys, where are you guys? And then they just get in there just in time and everybody's happy. So life from that way and we're away. Let's start at the beginning, right? Cause it's got this, you will again, this, this shot, this will happen. This is like a once a year, you're going to find yourself in this situation, the overhead top down shot. And what do we do? Well, it's going to turn out that the window is on this side. We're going to bring the nice light in there Then we're going to neg on this side, neg all of that for that darkness. And you get that shape. If you want more on this, what do you do? Well, you bring the, the light more this way or higher. If you go up in elevation on the light, then you will hopefully sneak over that other nose, but he, oh, that the other side to the other cheek. Uh, but in this situation, it looks good, right? It's morning time. This sells morning time. You got that nice warm light over here, a little bit of coolness in the shadows here, nice shadow back there. Again, in a, in a fairly, what, what is a boring shot? This just makes it easy. You know, if you want this result, it's not hard to do. Shine the light from over here, make it soft. Put the neg over here, as long as you don't screw up the exposure, right? Which is easy to do now. Just turn on false color. You, this is dummy proof, right? Even if you just put false color on this image now, right? I know that there's a program where you can just do false color inside of Resolve. Yes, we could do that, but then I would just be, I mean, I could basically, I'll shoot the job for you. If I have to bring up the false color for you, <laughs> just call me and over Zoom, I will shoot the ad. You can push the buttons. That's not the fun of it, right? You're gonna go out there and do it yourself. So figure it out. Uh, so we got level, neg, and you're away. Okay, from there, let's go full screen, actually. We haven't even gone full screen yet this whole time. Why didn't that work? Full screen, yes, here we go. Okay, so good looking shot. Keep going, play, play, play. Wake up, oh no, highlight, hello. And we're down to, this is it, look at this. This is the framework summed up in one shot, basically. We are shears shears in the on the window but we are lighting from the window that we can't see right because something is up here 
right? Because look at how this is not lit up because it's all bunched together, right? That's another little secret. If you're going to go shears, you can then bunch them at the end to let in less light or open them up. Like shears are just so, uh, they're just a must, absolute must. Uh, the only other thing would be here, curtains here, just so you could add a little point of interest. But I get it. That's not the vibe of the commercial. But see what we're doing with the outside exposure levels? That's because we're, we're not, we're balancing to that. So then the size of the light that we use here and the strength of the light will be determined by how much we have to make up between what the reading is in the room and what the reading is outside. And outside here, you're going to spot meter everything back there. You're going to spot meter the white clouds or the, pick, the, pick the brightest thing. And if you want to hold that, then you know how much you have to make up the difference in stops. So again, we're just on that edge. We're lighting from either, you know, this doesn't look like it's in the room. It looks like it's out of the room, but splitting here splitting this little gap here, somewhere up here, right? You're just hitting them with a little bit of level. And then we've got hot down here, nice little shadow, and then darkness, darkness. And if this is a white room, you're not getting this look, right? If this is a white room, whatever is hitting him is missing the top of his head, hitting the wall and bouncing back. You don't want that because you want to tell people, hey, I want you looking right here. I don't want you looking at his back. I don't want you looking over here where it's boring. I want you right in the eyes, right where the story is. And then again, we're just balancing to back here. If this was a stop lower back here, you'd be like, it, look, it would look unnaturally dark. It would look lit like you were on some theater stage. You don't want that. That is like the classic, you're almost there. You're getting all of the elements together. And this is something I still do, right? This is, I've been doing it for a long time. I've been, I know the framework through and through. But sometimes you just don't have time on set or things get out of hand or you're trying to move things like the craziness that happens on set, whether you're behind or ahead, and you just don't get those ratios quite right. Because it's not like you're going out there and dimming the light or you're putting the wire in or you're doing or you're wasting it. You're not doing that. You got to communicate that to somebody else to do it. Probably the gaffer who's sitting behind you. You go, hey, shh, shh, this looks like shit. This looks terrible. It's too dark. Fix it. <laughs> and then they get on the, 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 the radio and they go, hey, uh, who's standing by the uh, 18K? Oh, yeah, me, Tommy. Well, Tommy, do your job, right? And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes they don't. They take it down too much and you just run out of time, right? Your little seven-minute block that we always talk about on the show, your seven minutes of lighting, uh, if you go 701, some things aren't always going to work out great. Okay, get up. Perfect. Here we're walking down the road. This is all pretty natural. What is going on over there? You see that reflection? Oops, pen. See that little reflection? What's happening over there? But I like this. Shooting in these, with these big buildings where you don't get any actual direct light, right? It just makes a big, soft, overcast day. Then you BYO your own level. Uh, this face looks lifted, right? It would have been lower in the actual shoot. It looks like there's some sort of a window and there's some weird saturation that has been applied. She's not happy, is she? Okay, we go, keep going. And we even get the framework outside, right? We're going to come with level this way. We're going to have shape this way. And we are shooting into something that is not as bright as his face. Let's see if, if I'm just making that up or if that's right. So that's him. That's him there. Uh, what is that? that? Is that him? That's got to be him, right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. What is this over here? This little wall has a little bit more red in it. But anyway, uh, close to the brightest thing in the image. Okay, we go back to full screen. Go back to full screen. I need to make a different button for that. This one is again good. He's looking this way, but we're still, we got level coming this way. We got interest in the background with that dark wood. You got the different textures. We're layering in the image. We got the extras going through the frame this way with their back, not in white, please. Not in white. Don't be distracting. Uh, this gentleman is coming this way, and he's looking nice against the wood. You know, this is where you have to sort of interact with the costume and the production design and say, hey, do, do me some favors here. And this guy's overexposed and angry. This lady, not too happy either. But we got our above here shot. It's going off of there, hitting our man in the face. He's getting it from both sides. This is pretty standard lighting stuff here. We don't need to go too much into this. And door closed. Bummer. And then we are in to the diner, right? The old POV shot. And now this is good. Look what's outside, right? You see any front light outside? No. And why don't you see anything front lit out there? Because that would be impossible then to get enough level in here to get this look. 
even with all the haze that is in this place, right? To get that amount of level inside of this diner would be a tough ask if it was front lit back there. But because it looks like it's overcast, um, I'm sure even if it wasn't overcast, the cinematographer had planned for the sun to be backlighting everything and coming through this way, right? And we keep going. So this is, again, the Andre would be happy with this. Soft hob, we got hard on the body, not hard on the face. Don't go hard on the face. We go look up, look down. You can sit there. No, you can't. And look away. In the pool, I mean, this is pretty, this is fairly natural, fairly neutral, I would say. The only thing here to point out would be, you'll see how it's just a little bit down there, just that little bit of layer and then that little bit of foreground makes you feel like you're in it, right? You want to be, you want to throw somebody into the middle of the experience. And then this is framework with a huge backlight there for no reason inside this pool. And then we're in here and we'll talk about this soft hob here, right there, right? That's it. You're exposing for this part of his face in this part of the moment. You're going hard light this way and look at what they're doing back there just to try and get some interest. Pump the 18K in this way, right? But don't blast it too high. You got a little bit up there, but come down into angle more so you get a little bit of interest. Walks by, gets the nod, and let's go to the courtroom stuff. Actually, this is frameworky. Interesting that they, that they chose to make him look right to left. Right? The camera was just a little bit over. You could still look this way, but I guess they are walking in that other scene. They're walking that way. So it sort of makes sense. But this is beautiful framework stuff with a mirror. Well, there, go, there goes your answer. It, yeah, you can't come around anymore that way because you'd see yourself, right? But this one is good because, again, you cannot see the window that you're lighting from except you can in the mirror. All right, so it's coming from up here, light that way, darkness, and then a little tiny edge there. See that little edge that comes there? Just that little separation that is either light coming back off of here or there's something tucked up over here that is going that way. But you're just getting that light, dark, little edge. Um, yeah, and then hard, really hard down here where it counts. Um, creating some interest. And then again, L of the room. Creating depth with the mirror. Imagine if that mirror wasn't there, this would be a fairly boring shot, but that mirror just really extends that whole line. So you're actually getting two L's in one shot. Look at you. And then we go to, it's more of the same there. This one, boom, this guy is down low. What do we have for level on this fine looking gentleman here? We are, there is not a lot going on his face there, people. As we come in, we're gonna talk about why this light is here and why there is not a matching light. Like look at how harsh it is on everybody's head back there. And then once we get to the other windows, where did the sun go? It's not in any of those other windows until we get to this one. You can see the harshness there. That makes sense because we're not going to look through that window because if the camera came around and looked out that window, you would see the big lamp going like that. But because we're doing the same trick that we talked about in the other video that we did where you take advantage of having these windows above the windows and that's where you'll actually light from, light from those windows. And then what you can do is keep these ones exposed. You don't have to blow them out if you do that. Again, not blown out because we're lighting from above those windows. And we turn around and see our man. All right? So see that part of the room that we didn't see? You cannot see over here because that's where we're going to have the neg when we come in. It's there now. All right? But this is good looking. And the reason, okay, so I have this back here. Number one, you, you, this is the window that you can see out of the least right? You can see out of this window the least, but also because these people are, are farthest away from the talent. You see how they get nuclear, they're nuclear back there, right? You're completely blowing out this window, losing it. We're going to try and keep the, the, the haze and the shafts, but those things go after like the third take when you have to tell the first AD, hey, just wait a second. We're going to get more haze back in here. They start getting more and more annoyed because haze does take, especially a space like this, it takes a long time. And if you let it go and it's not good enough to reset it and then People get worried about matching haze levels and do we want to, you know, shoot a floppy with uh, your spot meter and keep the consistency that way. It's like it gets pretty complicated pretty fast. But here we're going edgy here. We're going shadow this whole side. Look at this framework here. Light from the window that you can't see. Darkness this side. Let's take it to another level up there. Let's have our practicals on in the shot for sure. And then we come around. 
again with the light coming from above the frame. We got a little something filling her in from the ground, right? We want to get a little bit more level on her face. We fill it in from the ground. We know we're shooting anamorphic, so you can't see down there. Notice how we give a little pan up there to hide the light. And now we land. Beautiful, soft shadow on the wall there. You see the shadow on the wall? Look how soft that thing is versus the shadow in the background behind the chair. Not as soft, right? Much harder. And we come in and ta-da. Good looking shot. And we ended right back where we started, right? So again, framework everywhere, light through the windows that you can't see in the frame, especially if they're from above. Keep things interesting. Like in this courtroom, we don't really care about those people in the background, right? We're just looking for something that is interesting. Something that is interesting is contrast, right? This might be, I mean, they're quite hot here. Some people would say um, they wouldn't go that hot, some people, but the, this person has. And congratulations, because it's a good looking ad. And we come around and ta -da, we're out. Okay, so. That's our look. Lots of good stuff in there. This is like a rich, I would say this is a rich ad, like a dense ad where you got lots of contrast. You got deep blacks. You got hot highs. It's like very rich in the colors. Um, and it looks nice. It looks great. So uh, well done to whoever this was. Okay, that's going to do it for this week. Many thanks for checking it out. If you got uh, commercials that you want broken down or you want some technique that they looked at or if you find something that isn't framework that you actually like the look of please let me know leave it down in the comments below and i'll try and get to it uh, if not if you like this content you want more of it over on patreon we do it every week twice a week sometimes uh, and that's it okay we'll see you in the next one goodbye